Well, as scary as it is to watch the video of that stage collapsing, just imagine being there to see it in person. We have heard in the past few days from many of our viewers who lived through the terror firsthand. Alexa Ashwell spoke with one woman who shared her brush with death. Alexa. Mark, this tragedy is certainly weighing heavy on the minds of many people, but especially those who were there. The Sydney woman I spoke with today says she's having trouble sleeping. Every time she shuts her eyes, she says she relives that tragic moment. By now, you have probably seen it over and over, this video of the stage collapse. But people like Teresa Fries don't need to watch it on television. She saw it with her own eyes. People were screaming and they were crying. Fries showed me a photograph she took of the stage before the collapse. She was standing in the sugar pit. Then the wind picked up, and before Fries knew it, she was on the ground, her back covered by parts of the stage. I crawled out from underneath there. And I look, when I stand up and I look out and I see everything had fallen. I mean, just everything. I, I don't know that there's really any words to describe what it looked like. Fry says her adrenaline kicked in. She rushed to help what she describes as a wall of Hoosiers, all lifting parts of the stage to free people pinned beneath. And it's amazing the power because you could actually see them physically lifting it up and pulling people out. Unfortunately, two of the people she recalls standing near, 42-year-old Tammy Van Dam, 23-year-old Elena Big Johnny, did not make it out alive. Now Fries is left wondering what happened to the other people she crossed paths with that day. And you wonder what happened to them. You know, like there was a little girl that, and when I was in line, before we, we went down to the front, and that was her first concert. She was six years old. It was a birthday present. And according to Fries, when the stage went down, so did cell phone service in the area. She says it added to the panic, people not being able to find and contact their loved ones. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side. All right.